Okay, this is a demonstration of the Emotep radiant oscillator running on capacitors only uh, without a battery or solar panel or anything. And uh, it's the standard Emotep radiant oscillator circuit with the upgrades that you've seen in the previous videos. But today I'm going to run this on a bank of supercapacitors. I'm going to charge up the supercapacitor bank, run it through the system, the coils, light the light, and recover energy on the back end in a capacitor. This is a better way to show charging than using batteries. They mask what's going on. Uh, capacitors are much more telling. So what I have is a grounded out front end. This is completely grounded out, that capacitor bank, and a grounded out receiving capacitor. I'm going to connect up the drive capacitor bank to the system and then charge it. There's a little bit of residual in the capacitor bank, but not much. I'm going to take the energy that's in here and put it in the capacitor bank, the supercapacitors. Those are 50 farad and then uh, 10 farad, 2.5 put in series. It's not correct, but it's all I had to do the demonstration with. Okay, watch the voltage go up as I charge the capacitor bank. Okay, what's going on here is I'm taking energy out of an energy source. It could be a solar panel, a battery, wherever you want to get it from, wind generator, whatever, and I'm storing it in a supercapacitor situation. And these are high farad uh, capacitors, and they allow you to store, store a lot of joules of energy in those. Okay, the battery uh, has put its energy in the capacitor bank. I'm going to disconnect it now. That will go down slightly, and there goes the battery. The battery's done. Okay, that's voltage sitting on the capacitor on the drive. This is what's going to be driving our system. Is that I'm going to put it into that capacitor and use some of the energy to drive that light. A lot of it's going to be lost in heat going through this system, but it's this recovery that I wanted to show. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unground the receiving capacitor and connect it to the charging circuit on the oscillator. There's voltage on the drive, supercapacitor bank, no battery. There's voltage on the receiving capacitor, which is a high voltage, and I'm not quite sure what the farad rating is, but I believe it's pretty high. Uh, that's the receiving capacitor. And I'm going to go through this oscillator circuit. All this circuit is shown on other videos and at the uh, Emotep website. Uh, we're compiling all the data at his website and at the energetic forum. Okay, here goes the light. And that's a standard CFL that the interior uh, circuit was removed. There's the circuit that was on the inside of the bulb, and that's been removed. The same bulb that I showed in the other video. It's a 100-watt daylight. Um, CFL that is being used in a different way. Okay, I'm going to connect the oscillator to the rheostat. Okay, there goes the light. There goes the charging on the capacitor on this receiving side. The voltage is draining down on the drive side. And there's the light going. I can adjust that with the rheostat. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to ground out the capacitor. And she goes back up again. This is a demonstration of the Emotep radiant oscillator. Using energy out of a capacitor bank. You see that's draining down. Providing light and charging at the same time.